Oh, I will talk about a small project that is in the limbo since years. And I thought that maybe uh, this year I will, will show what has happened. So this is about um, a kind of Django package clone for Triton. You know that there are a lot of uh, packages. I don't remember who said about said something about that yesterday, but I remember there is a lot of packages you don't know if they are good or not, and so on. If you can trust the people uh, who said they were good, and etc., etc. Et and so, uh, taking uh, uh, inspiration from Django packages, I decided to make a small let's say clone of Django packages, <coughs> with a lot of features that are not yet implemented. So what is Django packages? Uh, it's just uh, repositories of a website that lists all the uh, Django package that exist. They are, uh, ca they are categorized. Uh, you can also create um, what they call grids, so it's kind of saying, yeah, it's kind of verticalization, but not really, for example, you have Django CMS, you have design. So all those are packages related to, for example, anti-spam, authorization, badges, and chat, and so on. And when you click on a package, you can see some basic information about the package, so in this case you have the category, the number of people using it. Uh, you can see if you're using it or not. I'm missing with. It. Ah, okay. Yeah, I don't have to register. Anyway, you have the PyPy information about all the releases, some information about the license, and is it running Python 3 so, so on. Is it compatible with Python 3? So the dates, the people using it and so on. And so I made a small clone, which is there, and uh, it's called TP, which is French for, uh, I don't know, a TP, which is the, the, just the tent, an Indian tent. I don't know how you say that in English, TP. And it's Triton Package Index. What? Uh, you can, when you are log out, log in, you can uh, add a new package. So, uh, for example, I will add uh, Triton D save, uh, and it goes to the PyPy PP uh, to fetch some data about the package. So it kind of push the people to and force the people to, to use PyPy, which is actually, I think, a good idea. So we can have a small repository, and it's just a front end to, to get some, uh, to add information to PyPy, in fact. Yeah, it's getting a bit of time. What's the, what does the last one come from? Okay, okay, come on. Anyway, I can open give another attack. Okay. Okay. I told you you didn't have to see what? Oh just start singing at the machine. Another song. Okay, uh <laughs> That's not what I have planned. Uh, not that I have anything planned. Uh, okay. Valorisme, fille de la marois, voilà la victoire et la liberté de notre cité te couvrira de gloire. Oh, okay, we don't care. It's there. Yeah. No, it's not running. No, but it's local host to. Yeah. That. 
Was? Flask? Yeah, it's a it's old local. I didn't use a flask uh, bootstrap. I forgot. When I started, I didn't knew it existed. If Flask had something like that. <laughs> so, anyway, I did it today and with the Triton Customs module. And so we have one user, which is Alice. And you have the. I intend to implement something to so that people can say, okay, I'm this package is compatible with version 3.8 or 3. Point, I don't know what. You have a link to PyPy, some patches because it's always nice to see those kind of stuff. You can evaluate the package. You can define if you trust the user or not, and so you have the evaluation of the trusted users, and you see um, the people who are using this package. And when you click on the description, you get to see the PyPy description that is taken from, uh, I guess I can show it, PyPy. This text is used there, so that people have a small idea about uh, what the package is. And uh, of course, you can make a search. It's not yet a full text search, but it works. So that's it. So now there is not much to to show, but. That's a project that can be interesting, and the goal of this uh, presentation is in fact to get uh, feedback, what should be there and what shouldn't. So, please. I think a way to know what should be or not is to put it live and see, get feedback. Yes, uh, I think I put it live for uh, something like 15 days or 30 days, and uh, there was two connections. Right. And, and I killed it. Oh, in, on my... Uh, it's not running anymore. Huh? No, no, it's not running anymore. I put it live for... for no, no, I, no, indeed, I didn't put it live. I made a review for so people can test it. It's not the same, indeed. I will put something there, something. Is it release early? Release early, release often, yes, indeed. So the, the trusted reviewers feature, so you're saying that you can, have, you can see the stars of the trusted reviewers? Yes. How, so how does that get determined? So, you, you're so you like designate some users as uh, yes. For example, here we have Alice, which has rated those packages. You can see the other group, and she trusts Charles. So uh, you will have, for example, in Triton D, you will have the trusted evaluations of your users, your own evaluation, and the global rating. So it's the rating given by everybody. So you can see all of the users that ever, and you can say, I trust this one, and I don't trust this one. Yes, yes, yes. I, I need to make a form there to to, to put uh, new trusted users. But uh, yes. And so you can see, see there that uh, you can see the people using this package. You have Alice, Damien, and Charles, and you have the small uh, trusted user information when you know that this guy is using it. It's a way to say, okay, I trust Cedric, but I don't trust Nicolas, so uh, uh, well, I don't care about the, the rating he has given because he's based or I don't know. I, I'm not even sure that having trusted users is something important. Uh, it seems useful to me that there would be, you oh, okay. say, okay, here's the small group of people 
people that I know use Triton a lot. Okay. It was an idea someone mentioned, I think, one or two years ago. So that's why it's there. And it was me. So, so the idea when it's uh, online is that I would uh, add a reference to a package that I have created on PyPy. Yes. That's the idea. And so others can go and vote on it, and so we can. Uh, Sooner or later, we can be we will be able to sort on uh, evaluations, and so people will know. Or for example, uh, I need a point of sale package. There is the zigzag one. There is maybe another one. Maybe there will be a point of sale to Triton. I don't know. And so you you will be able to choose. This seems to me something that is really needed because there are the standard packages mm -hmm. and then there are a lot of packages of different qualities that are out there and you know, yeah. you bucket and, you know, so yeah that's that's the goal in fact to 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 allow the community to give feedback on packages one of the problem i see is that uh, packages are made for some specific version usually and so you might vote for some package on the previous version because it was bad at that time and then afterwards get better. So I don't know how to mitigate the bad impression it made before or the other way around, but uh, it can happen. So maybe we'll the rating should be on the on the release or on the version. But yeah, but you can have a lot, so. Yeah, you can have very. Each time you are there, you have to go to all the. Yeah, so. On Android apps, you, you get the information that the vote for was for a previous version. Yes. Um, oh, or you can fade out smoothly the old vote. Yeah, but then I have to know that it was for a specific release. We can just... Ah, yeah, okay. Vote because a, a vote 10 years ago with... It's less values yeah. than you could, vote now. If you could link it instead of the PyPy, if you could link it to the you know, GitHub, to, to see, you know, <laughs> it, okay, if here's how many releases, or how many commits that was in the past. Ah, yeah, in, indeed, um, in Django packages, they have a link to uh, the repo activity which is kind of interesting, but for example, for Triton, the client, the repo activity is usually a flat line with some commits, one in a month, so it's not really a good indicator, but I guess since I hope it will have a lot of five stars, people will not pay attention to the small activity. But this kind of stuff, getting the activity and so on, it's not uh, always easy to do. I know that GitHub have uh, hooks to do that, but uh, yeah, we might clearly have. But it's doable, of course. And how do you define the repository? What? Ah, yes, indeed. That's a problem. Uh, maybe when the user at the package, where is it? Come on. On the add package, we could put something like a. Yeah, but nothing tells you that it's the, the user. It's the, the real one. It's the, yeah. It's the correct. Yes, indeed. Uh, another thing that I was thinking, maybe similar to that, uh, there is the, the official packages are going to be listed on this uh, type files. Yes. Right? Uh, uh, so I think it would be nice to have a difference telling that those are the packages uh, maintained by the, the core developers and those other are community packages, <coughs> something like that. Could be the yeah, on PyPy, we use an auto, it's Triton. 
Mm -hmm. We could put the author uh, information in here. But someone can but falsify. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, yeah. But uh, in the end, uh, uh, an official package should not be different than a non-official one. Anybody but should be able to identify it. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Actually, we, met, we put always five stars. <laughs> <laughs> it's impossible to, to rate it lower than five stars. <laughs> <laughs> yes, maybe. Um, I don't know. Yeah, in fact, people tend to trust us. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so, indeed, it's a good information, but on the other hand, uh, they are just packaged like the others, so they should be rated like the others. And if other packages are better, yeah. good for them. Everybody should be first in here. Yeah. Well, but I think it's an un important information because the process of development is very different. For yeah. example, I, I'm thinking about the accounting modules, the localization accounting modules. Mm -hmm. We have three packages that are specific to France, to Belgium, and to Germany. Yes. And they are maintained inside the official repositories. Yes. So if I develop mine, as we already did, it's on Bitbucket, for example. Mm -hmm. So uh, maybe it's nice to, to, to deal. I, I, I don't have an answer to that, but I think uh, why can't this package that I have developed be inside the official repository? Or why is it needed to be there? Also, uh, why they're different? Something like that. I don't have an answer to that, but uh, I think somehow it's it's nice to say, oh, this is an independent developer, mm -hmm. uh, and no, those are maintained by the core uh, team, and they are they can be trusted more, something like that. Yeah, we we can take a look at how Python does stuff, maybe. The for example, uh, C decimal was maintained uh, for a long time on the side. That's right. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards it became official. But indeed the quality of CDCML is really high. So uh, I guess that if your package is very high quality, it will enter right on. And can you also show us the, the types that you have uh, thought about? The list that those select? Ah, okay, sorry. <laughs> Oh, for now we have server module, Triton plugin, and external application. What are uh, <laughs> it was just all out of my mind because <laughs> I uh, created. Uh, yeah, Triton plugin. It's because, for example, uh, maybe Luis will one day. Yeah, no, maybe, not maybe, but he will release this uh, new PG. Uh, Plugin, mm -hmm. maybe it would be on PyPy. I don't know, but would be good. And external application, because for example, I was thinking about uh, Flask Triton or uh, Nerei, maybe mm -hmm. if you can consider it an application and not a package. I don't know how they see that. But of course, it's open to other kind of types. And do you think it would be important to include the, the packages that are not uh, modules of Triton, for example, like Python SQL, Python Relator, Google Calendar, that they are developed and used together with Triton, but they're not mandatory uh, inside Triton? They can be No, used according elsewhere. to me, they are not meant to be there. Mm -hmm. It's more... Those are technical packages yes, somehow, yes. so it's it's not about trusting them. Maybe just to uh, report. We can replace maybe mm -hmm. with someone else. Yeah. yeah. So it almost seems like like okay, server module, but then there should be types of server module, right? So like an accounting related server module or a yeah. sales related. Yeah. Module. Maybe having keywords. Yeah. But then it depends on the somehow the maintainer of the package page, which is currently the guy that uh, just uh, uh, encoded the 
the package the first time. And he could select keywords, but or trusting the community to enter keywords. Why do we have to register the package? You can fetch all the package from PyPy, which are which has the classifier Triton framework, and yeah, we, uh, and you will have all the module. Yes, uh, indeed. Uh, I, I made a small script to, to fetch some. Uh, the idea was to, because someone might want to, to put uh, some additional information like the Triton server compatibility and so on, which is not in PyPy, so... It is? It, the Triton server compatibility. Yeah. Yeah, the, the version. You have the dependency. You have the dependency of, of the package, uh, to other package, and it should depend on Triton with the right version. And yeah, but they can make mistake. Yes, but if they yep. can, if they make mistake, they can make mistake there too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. yes. I should try to write a script for that. Why not? And so you fetch everything, mm. all, all the packages. And so people are pushed to put things on PyPy. Yeah, of course. So it's a good idea. With the right classifier and yeah. the right Triton version. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, that's a good idea. And indeed, someone could even write the modules that is compatible with many versions of the server. Yeah. Maybe possible. Mm -hmm. And we can infer that from the. Uh, indeed, indeed Flash Triton is a package that yeah, runs for this server. <coughs> yeah. okay. Anything else? No. Okay, thank you.